All right, so for this tutorial, I would like to add on to uh, what we were discussing in the last tutorial. And now we're going to solve equations using what we know about how to figure out zeros. So the first thing you want to make sure of is that your equation is set equal to zero, and this one is. But next we'll look at one that isn't set to zero. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is, as always, take a look at your leading coefficient and your constant. And here we have uh, 45 and 2. So we have plus or minus uh, factors of 45 on the top on our numerator. So 45 would give me 45 plus or minus uh, 9 plus or minus uh, th 15. Forgot about that one. Plus or minus uh, 3 uh, plus or minus 5 and plus or minus 1. Then on the bottom, we're going to have plus or minus 1 or plus or minus 2. So then we have, uh, all in all, we've got plus or minus uh, 45, plus or minus 9, uh, plus or minus 15, plus or minus 3, plus or minus 5, plus or minus 1. And we also have those over 2. So uh, plus or minus 45 halves, uh, plus or minus 9 halves, plus or minus 15 halves, plus or minus 3 halves, plus or minus 5 halves, and plus or minus 1 half. Uh, all the possible numerators over all the possible denominators. Now, um, it would take me forever to go through uh, each of those and uh, test them out. So what I'm going to do is uh, just show you a couple and how they work out. So if we were to put in uh, 1, what we would find is if I put down my coefficients, we have 2, 9, negative 87, negative 49, and 45. Bring down the 2. We get 11, 11, uh, and negative 87 is going to give me uh, 76 negative. And then we have negative 76, and that would give me uh, 126 minus 1, so negative 125. So yeah, as you can see, you can probably start to get the hint that this is not going to give you a remainder of zero. Um, but if I try something like five, uh, we're going to get two, nine, negative 87, negative 49, and 45. Uh, so bring down the two, and we get 10. That gives me 19. Uh, 19 times 5 is 95, oops, 95, uh, minus 87 is uh, 8, 5 times 8 is 40, which gives me uh, negative 9, which gives me negative 45, and hey, that ends up being 0 for my remainder. So 5 is a good uh, answer to my equation. The other numbers that happen to work out are 5, uh, negative 9, negative 1, and positive 1 half. And you can put those into the function in your calculator uh, to test them out. But uh, those are all possible solutions for x. Well, looking at my second example here, you can see that this one, like I said, is not set equal to 0. So the first thing we're going to want to do is set it equal to 0. So x cubed minus 5x squared minus 17x will make it plus 21 equals 0. Just added 21 to both sides. So uh, in this case, uh, we have 21 and 1. So my possible zeros are plus or minus 21, plus or minus uh, 7, plus or minus 3, and plus or minus 1. So let's... Uh, test a few of those out. Uh, one is an answer, so 
I'm just going to show you that one. So bring down the 1, and I get 1. Here I get negative 4. Here I get negative 21. And as you can see, I get a remainder of 0. So 1 is one of my answers. And I'm also just going to tell you that negative 3 and negative 7 will also work out in the same way that 1 did. If I were to try any other of these factors, like 21 or positive 7, uh, they would give me a remainder down here that was not equal to zero, and I would know that that is not a solution to that equation. All right, so go ahead and try this example uh, solving the equation here. Uh, as you can see, all you're going to do is put uh, 25 in for f of x. I know it's a word problem, but you're going to do the exact same thing uh, we did in, ex in the examples. Go ahead and see if you can get the right answer.